we will learn a lot more about actually, in the end, how stars like the sun formed, and when they form, planets like our own planet form. So star formation is a very big thing for Herschel. It's not the only thing, but it's one very big thing. Now, if you look out into space today, you have stars and galaxies and clusters of galaxies. It's not uniform at all. How could the universe go from being so uniform to so not uniform as what we observe the universe to be today? And, and how did the universe come to be uh, what it is today? This is the, really the, the basis of, of many obs astronomical observatories. But here, Herschel has a very uh, good contribution to give in the question on the history of galaxy evolution. When did which type of galaxies form and, and how did those big structures in the universe evolve? Uh, because galaxies do not live alone, they live in clusters. And clusters of galaxies live in big clusters of galaxies. And today, we know that all these, all, this old fabric of where galaxies are and where they not are is like a sponge. And astronomers talk about structural formation in the universe. How did the universe get its large-scale structure that we can see today? And here, this is the second very important uh, part of where Herschel will contribute a lot. Because nobody else has been able to observe uh, with the detail that we can the infrared emission uh, from galaxies. A colleague of mine made a joke once and he said, look, okay, so normal stars like the sun, they are like the grown-ups if we, if we make the analogy with people. Now we are looking, when you, when, you, when you see stars forming in the clouds, we're looking for the children. And then I said, well, with Herschel, we are looking so far into the, into the cloud, we're looking at so early phases in the stellar formation, we're actually looking for the children who are not born yet. 